Well, it's not very often that police encounter a criminal who is wearing protective gear. News 5's Emily DeVoe has more on how the armor works and where a criminal would get it. The most bizarre part about the shooting is the fact that the suspect was wearing body armor kind of like this one. Now, you might want to call it a bulletproof vest, but NRA instructor and retired Judge Rusty Johnston says it's more of a bullet-resistant vest because you're still going to feel the force of that bullet when it hits you, and it's definitely going to affect you, maybe even break a couple ribs. It's like Muhammad Ali punching you in the, in the chest, as I understand it. You've got a, all that force of that bullet which may be, let's say, 500 pounds per square foot, is going to hit you right in the chest. The fact that Burkhart was wearing a vest at all was unusual, and you heard Chief Barber say yesterday it did make some big challenges for their officers. When you look at this particular case and you see this guy prepared with body armor and carrying semi-automatic weapon with extra magazines, it shows you some of the threats police officers face in the street today, uh, and they're very significant. We're dealing with a more sophisticated criminal uh, that certainly wears much the same equipment that we are and armed very much the same way. We'll have more coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. In Mobile, Emily DeVoe, News 5.